more and more people are finding it hard to make their own decisions and have to turn to others for help. We take a closer look at this modern phenomenon. There are now 2 million senior drivers over the age of 65 in Korea. Traffic accidents caused by senior drivers are also on the rise. What are some measures to enhance traffic safety as the population ages? An illegal business or street culture? The argument surrounding street stalls is still ongoing. Is there no way for compromise? The domestic budget airline market is growing rapidly, but recent airline tragedies have left passengers feeling nervous. Let's check the safety of budget airlines. The Thinker, the icon of deep thought created by August Rodin, is now a portrait of us in the 21st century. Why can't I seem to make up my mind? More and more people are claiming to suffer from indecisiveness disorder. What should I eat for lunch? What movie should I watch? What kind of sandals should I wear this summer? Why can't I make up my mind? Could this be indecisiveness disorder? 사실 요즘에는 워낙 결정할 게 많고 시간을 이렇게 스케줄 쫓기면서 살다 보니까 차별점이 없는 여러 가지 상품들 중에서 선택을 해야 되는 경우가 많아지면서 누구나 다 어느 정도는 가지고 있는 게 아닐까. Even coffee is a difficult decision when faced with so many choices. Although life has always been a string of decisions, modern life has bombarded us with too many choices. 고민을 뭔가 안 하면 아 내가 뭔가 올바른 선택을 못 하고 있는 건가? 내가 똑똑한 소비자가 아닌가? 뭐 약간 이런 생각이 드는 거죠, 제가 스스로. Why do we keep hesitating when it comes to making a decision? Especially for these days, uh, many people, especially for the youngsters, uh, complains that they have some difficulties in making decisions. There are too many things to do, and uh, the, the problem is that too many good things to do. So which one uh, I, want, I have to buy, which one uh, I can take, I can eat, uh, which way we can go. Indecisiveness disorder. While the term is not found in the Korean dictionary, online forums are filled with posts like these. They want others to make the choice for them, now, there's even a smartphone app that helps you make decisions. The parents decide too many things uh, instead of the children. For example, um, which Hagwon, which private institute uh, the children have to go, or which university I can go, uh, which job I can take. Uh, all those things, you know. So the young generation are deprived of the chances, of the possibilities of having their own control in their lives. An interesting experiment was conducted regarding this phenomenon. A team of researchers displayed strawberry jam in a large supermarket. Customers were much more likely to make a choice when there were six kinds of jam as opposed to 30 kinds. This book caused a sensation in Germany last year. Hamlet syndrome was chosen as one of the keywords of 2015 in this book. The author predicted a boom in curation services for modern-day Hamlets. There are currently more than 50 curation commerce shopping services in Korea with the largest number in food products and general merchandise coming in second. 저는 특히 화장품 같은 경우엔 피부 타입이 한번 정해진 게 그렇게 쉽게 변하지 않으니까 좀 약간 건성이거든요. 그런 점에 대해서 기입을 해두고 그쪽에서 추천해주는 화장품들을 그냥 바로 구매해서 쓰는 방식으로 사용하는데 피부에도 잘 맞는 것 같고 만족하면서 사용하고 있어요. According to a survey of curation service users in the past year, 65.7% said they would like to continue using the service. Curation services are expanding to books, fashion, and music.
Even one's personal tastes have become a matter for others to decide. We can recommend some strategies of uh, changing their paradigm, changing their frame of thinking and um, attitude towards the, the world. When you have difficulties in decision making, uh, sometimes you have to accept the reality that you cannot change the past. We can think about what can be the next best, not the best, not the best, but kind of the second best. Uh, and then we can um, we try to be satisfied with the second best one. People who experience fear and anxiety about making decisions are the victims of an overabundance of choice. Experts advise that they should give up the compulsive pursuit of a right answer so as to free themselves from indecision. There are now more than 2 million senior drivers in Korea, aged 65 and above. With traffic accidents caused by senior drivers increasing, public concern is also on the rise. Statistics show a steady increase in the number of accidents caused by senior drivers every year. So in what ways do senior drivers pose greater risks compared to young drivers? We used a driving simulator to find out. This simulator introduces an unexpected situation during driving. We can compare the responses of the two drivers when faced with a young child running into the street. Unlike the young man who breaks as soon as the child appears, the senior driver causes an accident. Seniors reacted 0.12 seconds slower to traffic lights and 0.7 seconds slower to sudden situations compared to younger drivers. 어, 우리나라에서 현재 고령 운전자에 대한 특별한 점검이나 관리 규정은 없고요. 어, 단지 적성 검사가 그 일반 운전자가 10년인데 반해서 고령 운전자를 5년으로 단축시켜 놓은 것만이 그 유일한 어, 정책입니다. 자, 빨간색은 왜 있죠? 그럼 따라해볼까요? 빨간색은? 어떤 거냐면요. 인지지가 검사라는 것들을 한 시간 동안에 저랑 같이 컴퓨터로 하는 것들 방법 안내해 드리고 검사를 할 겁니다. The Road Traffic Authority gives cognitive tests and road safety training to senior drivers applying for the service. There are nine senior drivers today. Drivers can get car insurance discounts if they perform well enough on the cognitive test. This test allows senior drivers to re-examine their abilities. Although there are those who say it must be made compulsory for all senior drivers, it is not easy. Last year, a bill by Congressman Chung Hee Soo was retracted due to protests from senior organizations. 고령 운전이 뭐 65세 이상이라고 하는데 65세 지금 무슨 노인인가요? 한창이죠. 그래서 본인이 알겠죠. 운전을 할수 있나 없나 본인이 판단을 할 때까지는 누군가 이렇게 법으로 그걸 바꾼다는 거는 아니라고 봅니다. 
While some say senior drivers are unable to sense their own reduced driving abilities and need to be regulated by law, others say this intrudes upon their rights and self-determination. How have other countries dealt with this issue? In Japan, senior drivers have special signs on their cars. This informs other drivers that they should give way to the senior drivers. In the United States, seniors renewing their licenses have to present a doctor's note confirming their health. In New Zealand, drivers above 80 years old have to retake driving tests every two years or have their licenses revoked. Some of these measures are slowly being adopted in Korea as well. Relevant authorities are now giving traffic safety lectures at senior citizen centers. And have launched a campaign for senior drivers to use silver marks to inform other drivers. We in Seoul Police Department, 작년부터 고령 운전자를 대상으로 운전 요령 등 책자를 발간해서 보급한 바가 있고 사업용 차량 운전자에 대해서는 직접 운수 업체를 방문해서 고령 운전의 위험성에 대해서 홍보를 홍보 활동을 실시하고 있습니다. Driving can be an important tool to increase the mobility of seniors, but when not used safely, it can lead to fatal accidents. There have to be realistic and considerate measures to ensure safety for both senior drivers and people around them. Illegal operations to be regulated or street culture to be promoted. The controversy over street stalls continues. Is there no way to reach compromise? This is the Cup Rice Street of Noryangjin, full of examination preparation centers. The Cup Rice, invented as a convenient meal for students, has gained popularity, and so has the street. The Cup Rice Street of Noryangjin has become an attraction in its own right. <laughs> However, from October onwards, the Cup Rice Street will be moved to a different location nearby. This is due to complaints regarding obstruction and competition with nearby eateries. Stall owners are worried about the move. 아무래도 이제 생존권이 달린 문제이다 보니까 민감한 상황일 수밖에 없어요. 그래서 걱정스럽고 좀. 앞으로 어떻게 좀 살아야 될까? 플랜대로 풀어나가지 않는다면 엄청난 또 후폭풍이 후폭풍이 올수 있겠죠. 예, 뭐 들고 일어난다든가. In a recent survey, 72.7% of respondents said they felt the need for street stalls in their lives. The biggest reason was that street stalls provide a pleasant shopping experience. There are also those who put forth the livelihoods of stall owners in protecting street stalls. Strictly speaking, however, street stalls violate regulations on food hygiene and road usage. There are also people who think that street stalls make roads messy and unsightly. Local governments want to regulate street stalls as they are illegal, while stall owners struggle to protect their livelihoods. Conflicts between the two are never ending.
Should they be removed or should they be protected? As the controversy over street stalls continues, is there no way for the city to embrace street stalls into its geography? In bustling Shinchon, we found an alternative solution. This is the smart road shop street lined with neat little stalls. The path to coexistence in the form of a specialized was not always smooth. The government paid for the installation of the stalls and stall owners paid taxes in return. Since the legalization of street stalls, responses of both stall owners and the public have been positive. The smart road shop is a product of dialogue and compromise. Sustainable solutions for coexistence require the establishment of rules and systems. Street stalls have long been the subject of conflict and controversy. It's time we found ways to embrace them as a part of street culture, instead of forcibly removing them from our streets. It's been 10 years since low-cost carriers were introduced to Korea, and they are growing rapidly in market share, especially among budget-conscious travelers. However, there are also those who worry about safety in such affordable airlines. Can we really trust budget airlines? Low-cost carriers have been growing rapidly based on the ultimate edge of price. The first Korean budget airline was launched in 2005. Led by Jeju Air, there are now five Korean budget airlines, including Jin Air, E-Star, Air Busan, and T-Way, changing the landscape of Korean aviation. In just 10 years since their introduction, they have achieved 50% market share on domestic flights. 최근에는 이 자유행객들이 많이 증가하면서 조금 더 이제 실속형의 항공권을 찾고 그러다 보니까는 어이 국내외 저비용 항공사들을 이용하는 그런 여행 수요도 차츰 더 증가하는 그런 추세인 것 같습니다. However, the safety of low-cost carriers have recently been put into question. A slew of accidents, including the fatal Transasia Airways plane crash in February this year, have made passengers nervous about flying. As plane accidents are often fatal, the safety of budget carriers is an issue of unending controversy. According to a recent survey, consumer trust in the safety of domestic airlines was 64.5 points out of 100. Budget airlines scored just over 60, reflecting the concerns over safety. For the operation of low-cost carriers, that they have to pass the government inspection, we are calling the AOC, Air Operator Certificate. And we are utilizing 70 checklists, and it has more than 1,000 items. So it is included the, the aircraft uh, airworthiness, 
and the operation requirements and the pilots and the cabin attendant requirements. Tiwei is a domestic low-cost carrier which received Korea's first IATA Operational Safety Audit certification. On top of this, it also makes internal efforts to ensure the safety of its passengers. 위기 대응 절차라는 어, 그, 그게 있습니다. ERP라고 그러는데 Emergency Response Plan을 어, 저희들이 가지고 있습니다. 그래서 어, 그 플랜을 정기적으로 저희들이 그것은 모든 부서가 아, 어떤 비상 상황이 났을 때 같이 협력해서 그와, 그와 같은 것들을 우리가 잘 해결할 수 있는 그런 훈련들을 저희들이 전사적으로 어, 시스템을 가지고 있고 또 훈련을 정기적으로 실시하고 있습니다. Constant maintenance and systematic management of planes is a must to earn consumer trust. Pilots go through intense competition to earn the license to fly. Even so, they have to go through constant training according to strict manuals as they are responsible for the safety of up to 500 passengers. 모든 기계가 이제 진화가 되고 아주 첨단 장비로 무장이 돼 있지만은 그걸 움직이는 건 사실 휴먼 팩터 사람이 하는 거기 때문에 서로 이렇게 참 조화롭게 한 목적지에서 목적지까지 손님을 안전하게 모시기 위해서 그런 그 인화라든지 그런 그 CRM 차원에서의 그 그런 데 중점을 둬서 교육을 하고 있습니다. Personal character is emphasized as much as technical expertise. This has been especially so since the German wings crash in March, believed to have been the deliberate choice of the co-pilot. 여기에서 우리가 훈련을 철저하게 하고 또 체크와 검열 비행을 통해서 완벽한 그 어떤 타이틀에 충족이 되면은 라인에 가서 비행을 할수 있는 자격이 부여되는 비행이 되겠습니다. This is the Aviation Training Center for Pilots. This is where they can experience common forms of accidents in simulation, so as to be prepared for actual accidents. 가장 대표적인 사고 케이스가 엔진 아웃 및 엔진 파이어 또한 그 윈드셔라는 돌풍 변수가 가장 이 사고의 대표 유형이기 때문에 그거에 대해서는 매 6개월마다 아주 엄격히 훈련 받고 있습니다. The plane is shaking severely from side to side. Banking. 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 This is the training for accidents caused by sudden changes in the wind. Look at the calm maneuvering by the experienced pilot. Although it is a simulated exercise, it feels almost like the real thing. Finally, the pilot succeeds in landing the plane safely. 지식을 최대한 많이 습득해서 그리고 많은 기장님들의 노하우를 많이 전수 받아서 첫 번째는 회사의 정책도 그렇고 안전한 운항을 하는 조종사가 되고 싶습니다. 어, 그러기 위해서 항상 뭐 열심히 노력하는 네, 그런 조종사가 되는 게제 목표가 되겠습니다. The golden age of low-cost carriers has arrived. Even as flights become more affordable, nothing can be more important than the safety of passengers. Let's hope budget airlines can earn the trust of travelers through continued training and safety management. <laughs>